Hi everybody, so I've played an unofficial beta tester for AMD for some time now and I've discovered something new regarding the more and more frustrating topic that is throttling on AMD Raven Ridge mobile APUs and it's just not throttling, it's just stupid throttling and I will show you what I mean here. Here we have Fortnite running on Ryzen 3 2200U Vega 3 and you can see it only hovers around 25 frames per second which is not really playable and the GPU which could reach clocks of 1.1 gigahertz it only hovers around 500 megahertz and as you know the SOC spreads the thermal budget or the power budget between the GPU and the CPU maybe also the memory controller I'm not sure about that so if the CPU has nothing to do it should give the GPU more air to breathe to reach higher frequencies and as a result you have higher frames per second but it doesn't do that you can see that the CPU is not really on under a heavy load it just hovers around 60 percent so it should be able to give the GPU some room and let the GPU clock higher but it doesn't do that and actually there's no way how to trigger this you can change the energy profiles as you want you can change it to rise and balanced high performance or whatever it doesn't have an effect there or a measurable effect there so I played around and I came up with a solution and it's the most counterintuitive solution you would imagine but in the end it makes sense the solution is to pull to pull the power plug of your laptop I will do that now and as you can see it will set the CPU in a lower power state and it will just clock 1.6 gigahertz and it will allow the GPU to run around 800 megahertz and the result is a a 40% boost in frames per second and you can now play Fortnite in 720p pretty okay pros will disagree with me and they will say that's not enough but I mean it's an entry-level laptop and you can still reduce the the quality so as you can see here we have somehow the proof that the, this algorithm is just stupid and I hope that AMD will offer a fix I hope they will see that they could either uh, offer us a tool like, uh, I don't know, Ryzen Master Mobile, where the user could set a priority to either GPU or CPU in DirectX or, I don't know, Vulkan applications. Or if the Vega driver finally gets merged to the main driver branch of AMD, they could offer a toggle there and say, for this game, I want... Um, I don't know, I want CPU priority and for this game I want GPU priority. Yeah, I remember a Bristol Ridge, the Bristol Ridge APU A12 9800. Under heavy load it always reduced the CPU to 1.4, the clock frequency of the CPU to 1.4 gigahertz and let the GPU run on max and in most cases that was good. And here now we have a much stronger CPU, so that would even make more sense. But it doesn't do that. It doesn't do that in in uh, no laptop I've tested that has a Raven Ridge. So please AMD fix this or give us an option to fix it ourselves. So, see ya.